I'm Riley from Pack Hacker, and we are going to be taking a detailed look at the Herschel Supply Company Little America Backpack. I've been testing it for two weeks now. You can head on over to packhacker.com for the written review, link in the description below. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about on this pack is this material here. This pack is made with polyester fabric. It doesn't feel like the highest quality polyester. It doesn't feel quite as durable as some of the other fabrics we've tested on other bags. However, we haven't had any issues with it during testing. It hasn't picked up any fluff or anything, no tears, no scuffs, so that's good. You also have these buckles on here. They are made with this rubbery-like material, and they attach to these clips that you can use to open and close the bag. They secure this top section as well as this bottom pocket. But yeah, so we like the look of them for sure. It's a very modernized bag. It you know looks very modern but it has this nice little detail on here that it's more classic so we definitely like the aesthetic that these bring to the table as for branding you just have a herschel supply company tag down here I'll pull that up so you can see it it's not the most subtle branding but it, this is really the only branding you're going to see on the outside of this pack so it's not so bad I don't think it really affects the look of the bag or anything, it's not too noticeable. But it is white on black, so it's not as subtle as if it were black on white, but yeah. So then we're going to flip this thing over to talk about the harness system. The shoulder straps are super densely padded, which is nice. They're super comfortable even on longer trips. And there's lots of mesh lining too, which is you know nice and soft and gives it some added breathability, which we appreciate. Same thing on the back panel, you have this nice dense padding, these three sections of padding, as well as that same mesh lining, so that way, you know, your back is getting some, getting some air as well as these air channels, so that way you're not, you know, getting all sweaty. However, this is a pretty big bag. I mean, I'm five feet, four inches, five foot four, so this bag takes up pretty much my entire back, and, you know, because of that, it's kind of hard to avoid sweat altogether but like we said this mesh does help out some so it's not anything too crazy there's no sternum strap or anything on here but you do have this webbing on the shoulder straps as you can see these are attachment points so you can attach a carabiner or use them for external storage whatever you choose but yeah the sternum strap we haven't really been missing it. It's not a necessity for us on a pack of this size, but if you like having you know, that extra, extra stability, having it across your chest, you might miss it. Just all depends on your preferences. And then again, on these shoulder straps too, you do have these elastic keepers on here, if you can see those, which are nice, so that way you're getting that dangle-free experience no matter what. But yeah, all together, this harness system, we found it to be super comfortable. <coughs> Even when we're wearing it for long periods of time, you know, like even after an hour or two of wearing it, it's been still pretty comfortable, which is nice. You do also have a top handle up here. It's not the most padded, you know, it's really just some folded over material, but it's been convenient enough, you know, if you need to grab the bag or hang it up at any point in time. So yeah, it's there if you want to use it. Yeah, there's no external water bottle pockets or anything on the outside of this pack. Hasn't been a real deal breaker for us, but it, you know, it might be for you if you carry a water bottle every day and you like to have somewhere on the side to store it. You know, you might not be comfortable keeping it inside of the pack with your tech if that's what you're keeping in here. You can fit a water bottle inside, but again, you might not be comfortable doing so, so that might be a deal breaker for you, which is just something to note but it hasn't been a huge issue for us in testing. Back to the front here, we're gonna open up this small pocket that we've got, a small to medium pocket we've got on the front. It secures via these buckles that we mentioned earlier. And this flap kind of secures the zipper right here, which is nice. It gives it some added water resistance. 
you're gonna unzip this. This is a YKK zipper too. You can see the brand name on there. It's been working pretty smoothly, which you know as expected. We've tested lots of YKK zippers in the past. So we're gonna open this pocket up. We've just got a phone charger in here. Set that off to the side. A cloth face mask. Always good to have a mask. And then just some pens if you know we need to write anything down. Yeah, this pocket does have some bright red and white interior, which is nice. That way you get some added visibility. So, you know, when it's darker out, you can still see inside of this pocket. There's also a key clip, a bright red key clip in here where we've just been attaching our keys. We'll pull this up so you can see it. It's plastic, so it's not as durable as like a metal key clip, but it's worked pretty well for keeping our keys in here so that way, you know, they're not jumbling around in this pocket or in the main compartment. So yeah, altogether a convenient pocket. We can fit, you know, a fair amount of stuff in here, smaller miscellaneous stuff, so that way it's not getting all jumbled on the inside of this pack. But let's go ahead and get inside this thing. Something else we want to mention too before that is that this bag does sit upright pretty well on its own, which is nice. It's convenient if you have it next to you, if you're going to be working at that spot for a couple of hours, you can just secure this, unsecure this uh, top flap and bend it backwards. That way it stays in place and then you can undo this cinch top and this way it's you know just open next to you and you can reach in super convenient. We just recommend that you keep this open if you're gonna be you know, working at that spot because this is kind of a hassle to have to reopen and re-secure. So yeah, if you just have this open like this, it's actually pretty nice for when you just want need to reach in and grab something. Yeah, we're gonna empty this out. So in this main compartment, we've just been keeping, you know, we have some packing cubes in here. Take those out. Just got two of those. These are the Hind Planet packing cubes. Let's set those off to the side. And then our laptop charger, too. We'll set that off. We'll actually bring these back into frame just so you have an idea of what you can fit in here, real quick. And then we also have a just a medium sized notebook in here. And then we have our laptop or 13 inch MacBook Pro so yeah just to get an idea of what we've been carrying in here what fits in here we'll just set all this off to the side now and we'll talk about this main compartment so you've got a fair amount of storage in here we've been able to you know pack this thing out for like an overnight trip we just put like you know a change of clothes and some basic toiletries, just like a toothbrush and you know some deodorant, some perfume. And it fits all that well enough, which is nice. However, we have noticed that when we have this thing packed up really full, that uh, this cinch top, while it allows you to pack out the bag, when you have this front flap secured and it's fully packed out, these buckles tend to come unhinged, which can be kind of frustrating because then you have to, you know, constantly re-secure these. So it works best just for like medium to smaller loads, but it does have that capacity if you need to take this on an overnight trip. So that's just something to keep in mind. As for organization, there's not a ton in here, as you can see. You do have a media pocket right here on the right side. It fits a large iPhone with a case. Pretty slim, like it's a little bit of a tight fit, but there's a port where you can, I'll just show it right here. There's a port you can put your headphones through too, so if you wanted to slip your phone in here and just listen to music, you are able to do that. And then there's a similar pocket of the same size against the side here. The thing with this is that these pockets are narrow and they're pretty long, so if you're putting smaller things in here, like maybe a pen or smaller accessories like the Fulton and Rourke Solid Cologne, for example, would probably just slip right to the bottom in here, and then it's not going to be as quick to access because you kind of 
can barely get your hand in here to grab it. So we haven't gotten too much use out of them during testing, but they are there if you, you know, if they work for your gear. Same bright red and white liner in here, which is nice. Add some good visibility because this is a top loader bag, so it already has limited visibility as is. But yeah, and then you've got a nice fleece lined laptop compartment, super soft, which is nice. It protects your computer or you know your tech, your laptop against scratches, which is great. It's got some pretty nice padding too as well. It fits a 15 inch laptop, but we've just been testing with our 13 inch MacBook Pro, but we have confirmed that a 15 inch laptop will fit in here. There's also a false bottom in here, which is nice. That protects your computer, you know, this bag's getting jostled around or if you're just setting it down or let's say you accidentally drop it, you know, you don't have to worry too much about any damage to your tech, which is nice. So yeah, we'll just close this back up. Cinch top is pretty easy to secure. Fold this back over. Secure these into place. So there you have it. This is the Herschel Supply Company Little America backpack. Head on over to packhacker.com for the written review link in the description below, and we'll see you in the next video.